Remanufacturing represents a significant opportunity and the benefits to businesses are compelling. Remanufacturing has several benefits. Companies can retain control of products and materials, they can save costs, protect themselves against price shocks, and also they can hedge against material scarcity issues. They can benefit as well from continued customer contact. Remanufacturing is really a big untapped opportunity for businesses. So through collaborative research at TU Delft with my colleague Dr. Sharon Prandeville, we identified several design and business model strategies that could support remanufacturing. We are looking at the aspects that can make remanufacturing really successful. And of course there's overlap with strategies for a circular economy, because in essence remanufacturing is a key component of the circular economy. So what are these business models? We've talk, uh, talked about business models before, but let me give you a few more examples. Think for instance about the access and performance model, where the company really retains ownership of the materials. This can really make remanufacturing very easy. For example, cartridges. In this industry it's very uh, common, and in cartridges. But also the disposable camera industry, which is actually a really declining industry. But it's also very common in other business-to-business -business areas, such as aerospace, because there the customers are less varied and diverse. Other models such as the classic long life and sufficiency driven business model are really focused on slow consumption and are very compatible as a result for remanufacturing. They make sure that waste is avoided in the first place. Then the second part are the design strategies. Which design strategies can support remanufacturing? Design for remanufacturing can help scale up other circular economy uh, objectives, such as recycling. So that's why it's very exciting to think about remanufacturing. The first strategy is simplicity. This can refer to standardized parts and modularity in design. The easier the product can be taken apart, the easier it can be remanufactured. Design and material selection is a second element. Materials should be sele selected for durability. Also, fastening methods should be chosen so that parts can be easily replaced or fixed. Third, think about technology integration and reverse logistics. The company really needs to find ways to get back the material for remanufacturing. In the access and performance model, this is quite clear because the consumer never really owns the products. But there are also other ways, such as financial incentives, to facilitate product returns. This also indicates that companies do not only need to think about the detail, detailed design of the product, but also about the softer elements, such as communication and branding. As a, a result, many companies also do a pilot to run uh, things across the business and check uh, in a low-risk way whether remanufacturing is really a strategy for them. It's clear from this that the design, the business model and the uh, supply chain are very clearly linked to each other. They really influence each other and you really need to think about these elements together. Awareness of remanufacturing can really open up new opportunities for businesses. Also have a look at our EU project website, remanufacturing.eu, to find more inspiration. Mm -hmm.